Welcome back to Let's Play Stay Tuned! Oh my... What a way to start an episode, huh? I wasn't actually expecting that, so let's make this even grosser by poking his eye. Shut up. Yeah, so he actually blocks our path from going anywhere, unless, well... Tug on his nose hair. Our cursor has a mind of its own. Anyway, last time we got a key to 4C, so let's see what's inside. Wow, this is my kind of town. Chisel, do you hear something? Prepare to face the might of Skeletron. Magic death robot. <laughs> Is that a trick question? Yeah, I think so. So I hope you enjoyed your fight with us this afternoon, and we'll enjoy this again sometime in the future. This is another fine mess you've gotten us into. You laugh, James Schmendrick. Don't call me a Schmendrick, I'm a Schlamazzle. But I can't say Schlamazzle. Yeah, I can see that. Not the other game, Cartoon Combat. I'm gonna get back to this game later, but yeah, this is pretty much the Mortal Kombat room here. <sighs> the trick here is my hands work faster than your eyes. Seeing is believing. Now, you gotta pick which shell the key is under. Go ahead. This is actually an interesting one because he's actually offering us a key. However, well, you'll see. Sorry, sucker. Yeah, so apparently, sorry, zip, zero, zilch. We get to choose all three. Nothing, nix, nada. That's strange. Where could it be? Now, one of these, it's one of these wonderful puzzles where the obvious thing isn't the best choice. O always look for something that is completely out of the, not out of the open, and click on it, such as his hat. Why I oughta. I wonder how that happened. Now it is possible to actually bypass that complete point and go to one of the doors of the elevator and then you won't get a key. I apparently now have all four keys to the fifth floor. What is this, only the fourth episode? Oh boy. Well, because of that we have one other random key to go to which is on 3A, so we might as well head there. Come on, you ain't so bad. Or beat up a guy, this is fun. Just click on one area or whatever. Just keep clicking, just keep clicking. And you'll take him down. You are now a macho man of the apartment building. Anyway, the third floor, which we have not gone to yet. Hey, Chisel, watch out. I hear footsteps. The third floor is green. Duh. But it also has this wonderful painting back here. The Fredonia, which has this weird guy as the maiden that you usually see on pirate ships like this. Jolly Roger. We won't go here just yet, but it's very... but... You'll see why later. Now what do you think you're doing? It's time to chop you down to size. <laughs> <laughs> Were you keeping a good attention on his suspenders? Because they kind of faded in and out of existence there. But yeah, now Frank the Lumberjack has made a tree 
fall in our way, and we can't get across. What do we do? Take this woodpecker here, and go along the dotted line. Such an obstacle. Anyway, without further ado, 3A. Oh yes! I was afraid this wasn't going to be in my game. This is the sound room. Oh, good. This is an interesting room. We have these wonderful things which we can turn into Ben. I like Ben. He's fun. You can also get a key in here. It's not just the sound chest room in where you can watch a lot of VHS tapes. Yes, VHS tapes. This is 1996. So quiet. See Tweeter up here? Click on him. Another key. I call this a sound test room because really there's no other place that could be a sound test room. Plus it has all of this wonderful high-tech equipment of 1996 and a subwoofer. Haha. -ha. But now I can spend this episode going over and introducing characters with VHS tapes. First off, Funny Bone. Not a lot else to learn about Funny Bone, honestly, but I'm gonna put it back in just to show you off a little thing about working with the VHS tape. We can stop it, play, fast forward! And rewind! But anyway, that's enough fun for now. Let's go on to the next one. We've already seen him in the hallway. But let's get a little more information on him. Dr. Pickles. In a laboratory. Sounds like a good story. When everything is gory. <laughs> he's planning your demise. Oh. With weapons like cream pies. <laughs> he is morbid and insane. <laughs> but stop picking at his brain. <laughs> Dr. Pickle is his name. Again. And torture is his game. <laughs> so far, well, I'm gonna say that three out of the four episodes have musical numbers in there. There is Dr. Pickles, but this one is gonna have an overabundance of them. Next up, A Dog's Life. Shines down on me. I stretch and sniff, give a little shade. Go out and find a tree, you know what I mean. I ramble around this title in town, so sweet and full of spice. I cannot complain or show disdain because it's a dog life. In the evening of the day, as the sun goes down on me. I roam around all over this town, as happy as can be. I strut and prance, I can really dance, but now let me be precise. I cannot complain or show disdain, because it's a dog game. A wonderful little song by Jerome Daly, again, the voice of Snoot, of Scoops, singing. I kind of like it in small doses, honestly. But next up is One Tough Tune. Who could this be? I can tangle with the toughest. I can wrangle with the roughest. Well, you might have a doubt, but I'm a dog with cloud. I'm one tough 
tune. I got muscles on my muscles. I got a body that's divine. Well, I can walk without fear, no matter who might appear, cause I'm one tough tune. They had to milk that singing voice because it's just so heavenly. Alright, next up, I can definitely tell you that it's not about scoops. The Sultan. Nothing else I can say about that except for he keeps using the word Amscray. Next up, Mrs. Finley. Let's learn a little bit more about her. Hi, Mrs. Finley, queen of the roost. One look at me will give your spirits a boost. And gravity's favorite, just look at me sag. All of the bellhops in Brooklyn couldn't carry these bags. Hi, Mrs. Finley, cream of the crop. Stogie in hand, I'm a girl you can't stop. My meat looks a marvel, I'm a miracle cook. Come have a taste now, don't be a schnook. <coughs> Hi, Mrs. Finley, landlord supreme. A tenant's worst nightmare, a truck driver's dream. My house coat's so trendy, my curl is divine. These teeth aren't the best, but they're not mine. Creepy! However, in that video, there is a very important clue. The meatloaf shocking, the lightning kind of going off of the meatloaf, it kind of reminds you of the static charge that was coming out of the remote when you saw that. Try and put those together, and maybe you'll figure out where the remote is. Anyway, next up is City Blues. Not the same as the opening animation, but still it's the really nice blues. And the last one, Surfin' Tunes. Nothing really to say about that, but those are all of the VHS tapes. If you look at the radar up here, you can kind of see that it's dots and also question marks. There's three question marks? It actually means absolutely nothing, but the radar is just kind of something for eye appeal. Then again, a lot of this game is 
But anyway, that's kind of it for the sound room, so... If you remember... That we got a key in that room. Oh, it goes 3B. Excellent. That's a great place to start up again, as I'm called ugly and your mother dresses you funny. She does not! Eh, fine. But next time! We're gonna look into 3B and what's there. Till next time, everybody! Na 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 na, you can't catch me.